What's going on everybody? This is Brian from SneakerFollows.com recapping the news and before I jump into things like always greatly appreciate a thumbs up and if you're new here subscribe by hitting the button below. Now I want to apologize on the late upload. Typically I like to drop the videos around 3 to 4 p.m. This is going to go out a lot later. I'm not sure exactly when. I'm recording it at about 2 p.m., but I know I needed to get this out to you guys today. Now, as for some of the highlights in this video, we have a first look and a detailed one of the Air Jordan 11 Columbia slash Legend Blue. As well, we have to talk about a Travis Scott Air Jordan 1 Low OG, which has been scrapped and another pair dropping in its place. And some 2025 release dates, of course, from Jordan brand. And there's a lot more from the brand. And we have a few things from Nike and one thing from New Balance. And now without wasting too much more of your time, let's jump into the news. Quick heads up on Action Bronson's upcoming New Balance 1906R. This pair is known as Medusa Azul. This will be the second colorway to release. Recently dropped was the Rosewater pair. That was available at specializinginlife.com, which is Action Bronson's website. But for this pair, they'll drop on June 14th via specializinginlife.com. And the retail price will be $170. Now, it hasn't been confirmed yet if this pair will release on newbalance.com just yet, but more details coming soon. We only have a little bit of Nike news today, and the first pair I'm going to talk about is the Nike SB Dunk Low City of Theater. Now, a lot of people are calling this shoe City of Cinema, and from insider sources, what I was told is that the official name of the shoe is City of Theater. Now, the inspiration for this pair is for Paris's love of the art of theater. And it's another shoe that celebrates the 2024 Olympic Games. However, they won't release until after the Olympic Games are done. Now, I've been getting a lot of questions about the mock-up because a first look at a sample pair recently came out. And the real difference with the sample pair is on the midsole. It has this wood stain, like oil finish. Not gonna lie, it kind of looks like doo-doo. But what I was told is that shoe is an early sample and the mock-up shown is what is expected to release. Now, this isn't 100% confirmed. It's what I'm being told. And the mock-up that I have shown is actually from catalog scans which were being shown to retailers that are going to purchase these pairs and eventually release them to the public. So the official colorway is Celestial Gold, Black, Dark Team Red, Armory Navy, and Baroque Brown. Now they have a similar color theme as the Gold Dust SB Dunk Low. And this shoe will feature cracked material across the entire upper. And then we'll have red velvet which will hit the tongue and a little bit on the collar which wraps the heel. And not shown is the insoles. The insoles will have a stage with curtains like you would see in a theater. And just below it it'll feature drama mask. Now for this pair, they're scheduled to release holiday 2024. Unfortunately, we don't have a specific release date, but the pair should drop between October and December of 2024, and the retail price will be 125. Another colorway of Dion Sanders Nike Air DT Max 96 will debut during the summer. We actually have two, one in August and one in September, which is actually part of Nike's Fall 2024 collection. And one of those is the Nike Air DT Max 96 Colorado Away. Now the official colorway is white, black, and Vegas gold. And recently Dion was seen wearing the shoe and the color description matches up perfectly with this pair. So it isn't 100% confirmed that the Colorado Away will look like this, but everything matches up perfectly. Now I should have confirmation soon, but I did do a mock-up based off of the pair Dion was wearing. The other pair that is expected to release is known as Colorado Home. And that shoe will feature a black, white, and Vegas gold color combination. So for this pair, they are set to debut on August 15th, and the retail price will be 170 Moving on to Jordan brand, and we have several new photos of the Travis Scott Jordan Jumpman Jack TR Thunder Blue. Now this pair features a black and thunder blue color combination. Overall, I think it's one of the better colorways in my opinion. I'm just not a huge fan of 
the white that's going to be on the outsole. But other than that, it just gives us a few different angles. So just wanted to share that with you guys. Unfortunately, we don't have a specific release date, but they are expected to debut sometime this year. And the retail price will be 200 When I did the June 2024 Air Jordan and Nike release dates video, I totally forgot to add this pair in. And I've talked about them several times in the past, even with a release date, which is June 15th. And this is the Air Jordan 1 High OG Denim. Now the official colorway is Summit White, Obsidian, Summit White, and Gum Medium Brown. And it does look like the retail pair will have that light blue stained on the white base. These are the official photos. Prior to this, we saw some photos from JD Sports, which differed from early pairs that were going around. But yeah, just wanted to update you on that. And this will drop in men's sizing on June 15th. The retail price will be 180 Speaking of new photos, we have new images of the Air Jordan 6 Paris Olympics. Prior to this, the images weren't that great, but with these, you can definitely tell what's going on. This is also part of the craft series and is a women's exclusive release. Now, it seems that Jordan brand is slowing down on the craft releases. I remember there was a period of time when there was multiple craft shoes dropping. I honestly don't don't believe I picked up any of the Paris part of the craft series. I don't know why. I mean, there were some decent fours, don't get me wrong. But anyways, this pair features a pure platinum, glacier blue, metallic gold, and coconut milk. Now with these images, what we didn't know prior and we can see here is that on the laces, there is some beads. Now, I'm not sure if this is supposed to resemble pearls, but you can definitely see them here. Now as for a release date, this pair will drop on August 7th. The retail price in women's sizing is 200 preschool is 90 and taller sizes will cost 75 So a heads up, Trophy Room and Jordan Brand is releasing another Air Jordan 1 Low OG. This is the home pair. Now initially, they were supposed to debut exclusively at Trophy Room when the Away pair dropped. However, that didn't happen and now the pair is going to drop soon. We don't know exactly when yet but they're going to be limited to 1,000 pairs, and there is a embroidered stamp on the inside of the collar with each pair being numbered. So the shoes are inspired by Michael Jordan's Fleer Rookie card, and the official colorway is Cell, Varsity Red, Black, and Metallic Gold. This pair is very close to the Away pair. Don't get me wrong, I think the theme of these shoes are pretty cool, especially if you collect sports cards. I just wish they did something different as for the home pair versus the away, or make some bigger changes. But for the release details, unfortunately, we don't have a specific release date, but they are expected to debut summer 2024, and the retail price will be 140 We now have details on the upcoming Air Jordan Year of the Snake collection, which will debut for Chinese New Year in 2025. Now, unfortunately, we don't have any images, but... We do know the models releasing as well as the colorway. The first will be the Air Jordan 1 Low OG Year of the Snake. It shouldn't be any surprise each year there's an Air Jordan 1 Low OG which drops part of the Chinese New Year slash Year of Collection. And this pair will feature a Summit White, Summit White, Photon Dust, and Barely Green color combination. The retail price on this pair will be 160 Next, we have the Air Jordan 5 Year of the Snake. This will be a women's exclusive release, which will feature a light bone, black, cell, and barely green color combination. The retail price on this pair is 200 Next, we have another women's exclusive. This time, it's the Air Jordan 1 Low. And it'll come dressed in phantom, football gray, white, and black, and will retail at 125 Jason Tatum's Jordan Tatum 3 will be part of the collection. His pair will feature a summit white, barely green, and football gray color combination. And the retail price will be 125 The last pair part of the collection, again, will be a women's exclusive. And it's going to be the Jordan Legacy 312 Low. This pair features a Summit White, Light Bone, Cell, and Crimson Tint color combination. The retail price will also be $125. Now, at the time of recording, we don't have a release date for any of the pairs, but Spring 2025 is when they're going to debut, which means the release will take place between January and March of 2025, but more than likely, they're going to drop sometime in January. 
we have a release date for the Air Jordan 12 Bloodline. Now, I know a lot of people dislike this shoe due to the fact that they are now releasing instead of the Air Jordan 12 Flu game. To be honest, I'm not really a huge fan of the color blocking, but to be 100% honest, I feel like I'm being influenced a little bit. Just being upset that the Air Jordan 12 Flu game is no longer dropping. The color blocking isn't horrible. I'm just a little salty, I guess, on the flu game. But if you're a fan of this shoe, they are set to debut on June 4th. They will be available in full family sizing. So we have adults at 200, grade school at 150, preschool at 90, and toddler sizes will cost 75. Now on a side note, don't be surprised if Jordan Brand decides to scrap this shoe. I'm gonna say that right now. There is a little bit of talk going around, but nothing is confirmed. But like always, stay tuned. New photos of the Air Jordan 4 Orchid recently popped up. This will be a women's exclusive release. I know a lot of people want to pick them up. Unfortunately, at the time of recording, I don't know if they'll be available in extended women's sizing. But we do have the new photos and these are a lot better than what we saw prior to. It lets us see a little bit more of the materials as well as the different angles. They will feature pink on the upper with suede. And then we'll have black behind the netting, part of the midsole, eyelets, and speckled detailing. Overall, I think the color blocking is nice. I honestly have a feeling these more than likely will sell out. I do know fours are hype, but it also depends on the colorway because not all colorways, even if it's a hype four, will sell out right away. But I have a feeling that this pair will do pretty well. And as for the release details, they're going to debut on October 5th. And the retail price will be 215 Speaking of new photos, we now have new images of the Amamaniere ah Air Jordan 3 in black. Now, when the first set of images came out, I wasn't a fan of them whatsoever. I think it was due to the quality of that pair. It looked horrible. I'm not a huge fan of the suede around the heel and the toe. But in these images, they actually don't look so bad. In my opinion, it's very rare for an Air Jordan 3 to still look nice without elephant print. This is a pair that's slowly growing on me, I'm not gonna lie. These images have helped a lot. I do like the premium touches as well. For example, we have the quilted satin-like material on the liner, something we've seen on past Ama Manier collabs. The age detailing, I am a fan of. I know some of you guys don't like it. And of course, we have Nike Air branding on the heel. On the left tongue, we have Amma Meniere's logo, and then on the right is the Jumpman. The overall color blocking reminds me of the Black Cement Air Jordan 3, which, as you know, is coming out this holiday season. But I'll admit, these are better. I wasn't a fan at all. I still personally think Nina Chanel Abney's Air Jordan 3 is a lot better than these. That's just my opinion. If you disagree, you can let me know down in the comment section below. But as for the release details, this pair will drop on July 18th. They will be available in women's sizing. However, they will drop in extended women's sizing and the retail price will be 250. This is a shoe I briefly talked about in the June 2024 Air Jordan and Nike release dates video and that is the Air Jordan 3 K54. Now at that time when I talked about them, they were expected to release in June. However, we didn't have a specific release date. But now I do have a rumored release date, although it's not locked in. But before I give you that, going over the shoes, they feature a Summit White, Off Noir, Game Royal, Burnt Sunrise, and Cell color combination. Now also dropping part of the collection is the Air Jordan 1 Low and the Jordan 1 Take 5. Now as for the expected release date, it's June 10th, so not too far away and the retail price will be 210. Again, the release date is not 100% confirmed. It's what I was told. And as for availability, I don't have that information just yet. I may do a where to buy video if there's enough retailers that have them. So like always, stay tuned for that. Another pair we have a release date for dropping in 2025 is the Air Jordan 3 Hydrogen Blue. Now, just a heads up, this pair is a mock-up. The actual color blocking is unknown. They could look something like this or something totally different. However, the official colorway is white, hydrogen blue, legend blue, photon dust, pure platinum, and cell. Now, as for the release date, this pair is set to debut on January 25th. They will be available in full family sizing, so we have men's priced at 200, grade school for 150, preschool for 90, and toddler sizes will cost 75. 
Let me know your thoughts on this pair. If they drop just like the mock-up, would you buy? For me, I think I would. They do remind me of the UNC Air Jordan 3, which I don't have that pair. I skipped out on them. Not sure why. But yeah, these are definitely nice. We have more scrapped Air Jordan releases. I don't know why I'm surprised. It's an ongoing theme. The next pair that is now being scrapped is the Travis Scott Air Jordan 1 Low OG Black Olive. And I'm not going to lie, I'm a little bit bummed because I do like this colorway. I feel like this is one of the nicer ones, but I'm not too much bummed because more than likely I wasn't going to get them anyways. I miss out on so many Travis releases. I think I only hit on one. Actually, yeah, I've only hit one release. And the only other Travis collab that I can remember off the top of my head that I have is the Air Jordan 6. The olive pair. And I actually paid resale for that. So for those who are lucky and really wanted the shoe and planned on buying them at resale. I apologize. Unfortunately they are no longer dropping. And instead what's taking its place is the Travis Scott Air Jordan 1 Low OG Medium Olive. Now. If this pair looks familiar, it's actually due to the fact that this is the pair that was expected to debut spring 2025. So Jordan Brand went ahead, they scrapped the black olive pair, pushed forward the medium olive, which in my opinion, I don't think these are even close as being as nice as the black olive pair. And the official colorway for this pair is medium olive, black, cell, and muslin. So we do have a release date, which is September 9th, and the retail price will be $150. Now there's another rumor going around, and I did talk about that in the Holiday 2024 Air Jordan release dates video, that the Pell Vanilla Travis Scott Air Jordan 1 Low OG has been scrapped or potentially delayed until 2025. Again, I want to remind you guys that it was just a rumor. I don't have confirmation on it yet. I've even asked several other sources recently and those people don't have the confirmation as well so for that pair of course stay tuned for more updates last up for today we have a first look what i'm calling a first look of the air jordan 11 columbia slash legend blue now i'm going to be more going with the name legend blue due to the fact of the colorway which is officially white legend blue in black although we all know it's jordan brand's attempt to recreate the Columbia Air Jordan 11, which originally dropped in 1996. The Legend Blue pair first released in 2014, and there was quite a few differences on the 2014 pair in comparison to the Columbia Air Jordan 11. Although it was Jordan Brand's attempt to recreate the shoes, they did a bad job in my opinion. But from this first look of the 2024 pair, I'm actually quite happy with them. I know a lot of people have been asking when we're going to see a first look, and today is that day. I'll be honest with you guys, I kind of planned on dropping a video tomorrow. I wasn't feeling good last night. Usually I record on Sunday for a Monday drop. I fell asleep really early, so I didn't record, but then I woke up and found out that images leaked, so I was like, okay, I got to put together this video. So again, I apologize for the late upload. As for the overall shape, the high cut patent leather, it looks on point to the OG. Even the blue tint on the outsole, that looks nice in comparison to the OG. I know there's some pairs that have yellowed really bad, but if you find like a really good OG Air Jordan 11 from 1996, the Columbia pair, they'll actually feature like this blue tint on them. The carbon fiber shank plate looks nice with the blue and the black intertwined. Overall, I'm quite happy with them. I'm just happy we don't have any age detailing. Yes, I'm a fan of the age look, but this is a shoe that does not look good with aged upper or midsole. Even the outsole, it looks bad. Now, as for the release date, this pair is set to debut on December 14th. They will be available in full family sizing. We have men's priced at 230, grade school at 185, preschool at 100, toddler sizes will cost 80, and crib sizes will retail at 60. Although I'm happy about the overall look, the shape, let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. It seems that of the OG colorways, this is probably the most disliked as far as comments go. I can't speak for a larger scale, but from when I go through the comments, it seems like a lot of people aren't happy about the shoes returning. But now that we have a first look, let me know down in the comment section below. 
And that's going to do it for this video. Like always, greatly appreciate you guys for watching if you have a second and haven't done so already. Also appreciate a thumbs up. And if you're new here, subscribe by hitting the button below. One more thing, make sure to turn on the notification bell so you can be alerted every time I drop a new video. Now as for upcoming videos, I'm going to drop a video on where to buy the Nike Kobe 4 Pro Tro Girl Dad. Now I know when I dropped the where to buy Air Jordan 17 Low Lightning and then I made a community post asking if people picked them up. There was quite a few comments saying I didn't know where to buy or people just totally missed the video. So I apologize. I did put a video out on that shoe and I try to make announcements in the videos what I'm going to drop. YouTube doesn't do a good job to alert people when you do a short and realistically there's not enough content to make a long form video on it and the real reason I do them is just a heads up to let you know the links are in the description you can enter raffles here this is where you can go and so forth I don't feel like it's really needed to make a 10 minute long video on that so it's more of a heads up type thing I'm not really sure what to do in order to help people that really are interested in the where to buy videos, I may start a newsletter where people can sign up. So when I do drop those, I can just email you. That's a possibility as well. But if you have any suggestions and you missed out on any prior where to buy videos, let me know down in the comment section below. Speaking of that, let me know what you liked or disliked in this video as well. If you have any questions, leave that down below. Again, thanks for watching. Stay tuned to sneakerfollows.com. And if you haven't yet, make sure to subscribe.